Hey guys, it's Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. Today, what a reversal day to the downside. Unemployment came out, uptick to 7.9%, 171,000 jobs added. It looked pretty strong, and then we were down all day. Close on the low of the day. What goes up must come down. So look at look at the, the minis on a daily bar, you know, overlapping bars. We're in the Ichimoku cloud. The cloud represents neutral patterns between bulls and bears. You know, nothing maybe to do in here. Talked about that 14.14 half level to the downside. You know, we as we busted through it, upside, we got a lot of momentum. As we busted through it to the downside, got a lot of momentum. So 13.93 is a downside target. was the Globex low from a couple days ago. Also, you know, if we if we really start to move down, we have nothing but air down to this 13.80 level, 13.79 level. So those are very, very important. Then let's look at it on a five-minute bar. Um, you know, basically we opened up this morning, and I took a short this morning at 14.24 half. We have this 30-minute bar where basically um, I'm selling one tick under the low. Sorry, I sold uh, 14.28 quarters, selling one tick under the low of the range established in the first half hour before the market opens. Buying one tick above the high, it was a three and a half point range. I sold 14.28 quarters. I covered at 14.24 half. Uh, at the end of the day, we really picked up steam to the downside. Close on the absolute low of the day. Let's talk about Apple. I'm still short Apple. I talk about Apple. One, two ways to trade Apple, short or flat. I was actually going to get shorted in here, and I got I would have got stopped out, um, and I was had too much going on, so I didn't get shorted in here. I've been holding my short position from $625. Apple continues to the downside, down over 20 bucks today. You know, iPad Mini wasn't as as lights out as they thought it was going to be. So more downside pressure in Apple. Let's look at Apple on the daily chart. You know, if you took off the top of this chart and you said you didn't know it was Apple, you'd say which way is this stock headed? It's headed straight down. Lower lows, lower highs. It's got a date with 571. I've been tweeting it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Keen on Market. This is how it was two times before earnings, this 571 level. Then I think it can really get down to this um, 530 level. You know, I basically talk about the fact that, you know, Apple is, you know, cannibalizing themselves by coming out with these over products over and over. Just Steve Jobs never would have had this. It seems like his playbook might be running out sooner than expected. I continue to be short. Apple in earnings trades. I had a really good earnings trade in Yelp. I'm long the 23, 20, 17 put fly. I bought it for uh, 65 cents, three dollar put fly. Buying the 20s, selling, selling, buying the 23s, selling twice as many as the 20s. Buying the 17s. That is over in November. Also, I had a put fly, broken wind put fly, and open table, open table down two bucks today. So we saw some stocks rally, <coughs> and we saw some stocks sell off. Rally's gotten Starbucks. Very strong today, up 460. We also say a price line, pretty strong in price line, uh, up, you know, about 50 bucks is up much higher, but then the market rolled over. It rolled over as well. So strong earnings from price line. Monday morning we do have some earnings. We have Sohu. I'm playing these all to the bear side through put spreads or put flies. Sohu, Q Y O A O U. These are Chinese internet plays. I'm short all these through put spreads. Good risk versus reward setups. This is Andrew Keene from KeenOnTheMarket.com. If you want to watch me trade unusual option activity, earnings, futures and forex, real-time, real money, you can shoot an email to Andrew at KeenOnTheMarket.com. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next week.